Hi, I'm a Bulla student tutor. In this video, I'll be talking about cross multiplying. So first, you have your two fractions. You would then multiply across, and that would give you 3 equals 2x. Then you would divide the 2 to get the x alone. Your final answer would be 3 divided by 2. So another problem to try is one that has variables on both sides. So it would be x, x minus 2 divided by 2 equals x plus 4 divided by 7. So it's the same um, as the first problem we did, except you have to put parentheses around both of the numerators because you have a variable and another number along with it. So you multiply across. So it would be 7 times x minus 2 equals 2 times x plus 4. So you have to use a distributive property um, for this. So you have to multiply 7 by both of the um, both of the numbers and variables inside of the parentheses. So it would be 7 times x and then 7 times negative 2. So 7x minus 14 equals, and it's the same thing over here, so 2 times x and then 2 times 4. So it would be 2x plus 8. So now you have to get x on one side before you can isolate x and find out what it is. So add 14, add 14, subtract 2x, and subtract 2x. This gets you 5x equals 22. So it would be the same thing. So you do 5x equals 22 divided by 5. 5 by 5. This gets you x equals 22 divided by 5. So here's a problem with the variable on the denominator. So it's going to be 10 over x equals 3 over 9. And then you would just cross multiply the same way as if the variable was on the top and it would be 3x equals 90, and then you would divide by 3, and you divide by 3, and x equals 30. This has been a Bullis Student Tutors video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the rest of our YouTube channel for more tutoring videos. Thank you!